بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters of those important أصول اعتقاد أهل السنة the foundation principles that form formulate the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah comes a beautiful narration of the Salaf Ibn Batta mentioned it in his uh, Al-Ibana Al-Kubra and it's the narration of Qatada Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasi'a one of the well-known Mufassireen and commenting on the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al kirim O oh, people of the scripture, do not become extreme in your religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, people of the scripture, do not become extreme in your religion. That's an admonishment for us. That, a, that was an admonishment for Ahl Kitab. And it's an admonishment for Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Islam, Wa Iman. Qatada rahmatullahi rahmatin wasiya commented on this verse. He said, commenting on the meaning, he said, meaning do not innovate in religion and do not sit with a religious innovator, meaning a mubtadi'a. Ahabati fillah, the madhab of the salaf is so enlightening. And if we return to it, and that's why I like and enjoy reading Athar of the Salaf and sharing them, because it's a, such a good reminder for us. Because it's easy to become soft. It's easy to become distracted. It's easy to distort the principles of Ahl Sunnah. Or just forget yourself. You need the reminder. Limadha. Because the dhikr tanfal mu'minin. The remembrance reminds the believers. Tanfa al mu'minin. It benefits the believers. So that's why we have to remind ourselves. And one of the best reminders is going back to the book in the Sunnah and the Madhab of the Salaf. So we see that the Salaf of Saleh, they gave great importance to warning and being away from religious innovation. They were very careful and cautious. They detested it. Likewise, they stayed away and did not believe in sitting with innovators. Because innovators and innovations in the religion can either lead you to being extreme, like the extremist takfiri khawarij, or it can make you a person who throws away the principles, similar to the, the, the contemporary modernist and secularist and the progressives. That you just throw away so much of Islam that it's barely nothing left to be referred to as Islam in their practice and practices. Likewise, we see so much innovation from the various sects in that they distort so much of Islam. Negating the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, distorting and making ta'wil of the sifat of Allah azza wa jal, instead of accepting them, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, and as His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions, and negating as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what Allah wa ta'ala negates, and negating what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam negated. So it shows us the importance of clinging to the sunnah, even if you're alone, making sure you have ilm and nafiyah, so that way you can distinguish the sunnah from bid'ah. And so that you don't declare sunnah to be bid'ah or bid'ah to be sunnah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ilm al-nafi'ah. وَرِسْكٍ طَيِّبُ وَعَمِلُ مُتَّقَبِّلٍ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَ مُحَمَّد